Guys, sometimes you just gotta poke a big hole in something with a 4570. In this case, we're in a Henry single shot. Let's have a little bit of fun. 325 grain horn daddy versus a watermelon. And here we go. All right, this time Winchester Super X, 300 grain. Very nice. Winchester Super X, 300 grain, soda. All right, and one more of the 325 grain FTX. All righty. Woo! <laughs> Good stuff. We're going to be taking a look at this little single shot here today. Let's get back to the bench, have a little fun. All right, guys, going to be taking a look at this Henry 4570 single shot. Very light and handy rifle. 22 inch barrel with a 1 in 20 twist. Checkered walnut furniture. A very well fitted recoil pad, which you can see definitely want in this uh, big bruiser here. Uh, Henry's been offering a lot of the single shot rifles and a variety of different cartridges. Of course, you can't go wrong with big bore power going down range. Uh, they also do shotguns. We've got a 12 gauge that we're going to be taking a look at in a future video. But we wanted to show this off. Very light and handy little hunting rifle. Um, you know, it is drilled and tapped for bases. We will eventually put a scope on this particular rifle, but we wanted to shoot it with iron sights to kind of see how it handles. And I really think the charm of this rifle is using the iron sights and keeping it inside of 50 yards, especially for hunting close in. Um, it just really, I'm not gonna say an optic throws the balance of the rifle off, because it doesn't, but the buckhorn sights just really are a nice open option. Just keep it real simple. All right, and I'm gonna warn you about something that happened to me earlier, but first let's shoot a little bit more shall we? Rebounding hammer, no safety, you just cock the hammer, shoot the gun. Nice trigger. Oh, just to the right of it. This is some uh, Winchester 300 grain soft point uh, Super X. Oh yeah. So it is a single shot. You basically just got this little lever on the back of the gun. Pull it to unlock it. Real simple. There's a honeydew that won't be giving us any more problems. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we got a soda on the ground there. Let's take him out. Yeah. All right. Very quick to load once you get used to it. And I do like the light handling characteristic of the rifle. Nice and lightweight overall. I mean, for a 4570. This is a great option. You know, a lot of you guys probably know HR isn't really in business anymore, H&R. Uh, you know, they used to make their handy rifles and, and small rifles and things like that. And I'm pretty sure Remington bought that company out. And from what I understand, they're not exactly in business anymore. So it's kind of cool that Henry has kind of stepped in and filled the void because this is one of the most affordable rifles in Henry's lineup. You know, with it being just a single shot, uh, it's a very economical option to get into a Henry for not a ton of money. And I do like the, you know, just the, the handiness of this particular gun. It's just a very welcome feature. Uh, we will be scoping this particular rifle and probably doing some more accuracy testing with it at a later time. Um, one thing I will mention, okay, earlier I was going to load this gun and I had my hand right here. You can see there's a Band-Aid on my finger, okay? But this little wedge right here that opens up when the action is open, yeah, I stuck my finger in there earlier and I got a really nasty pinch when I closed this thing. You know, I was kind of going fast and wasn't thinking about it. So that's one thing you might want to watch out for. Just keep your fingers out of this area right here when you're going to close the action. It will pinch you. Just be careful. Uh, that's my fault. Uh, you know, I screwed up. 
but just something I wanted to mention because it will draw blood, okay? We know because it's already happened today. Uh, just word to the wise. All right, we got a gong down here that's only about 35 yards away. Let's hopefully take it out here. And of course the wind is blowing like a million miles an hour out here. Sit down. Sit down. You know, I I just don't really feel like, I mean, inside of 50 yards, you really don't need an optic. Unless it's a low light situation. That's or the only reason. Yeah. Just being able to pick up the iron sights, you know. That's right. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna aim at the bolt there at about 40 yards. I mean, I put the round exactly where I wanted to with this open sights. All right, I'm gonna aim at the center of the plate down there at 75. Oh no! <laughs> I favored a little bit high, but I hit the bolt, so. And we are shooting this thing kind of fast. I mean, in a hunting situation, you're not gonna shoot this kind of volume, but what a, re what a killer rifle. And uh, I love 4570, so this is a, uh, I, <laughs> I love this, it's great. All right, got a honeydew left on the ground. Let's hit him. All right, one more over to the side. Let's hit that with a uh, Hornady FTX 325 here. Very one more scientific. honeydew. Let's, let's compare the, uh, the carnage. honeydew damage. Oh, ah, I don't know. I think that FTX threw that honeydew a little bit further. Yeah, <laughs> well, you do have a little bit more energy. All right, we got another FTX. Let's send our uh, little gopher friend to go for heaven. Oh, poor little guy. I mean, look, close range in with iron sights, definitely a charm of a rifle. Nice and lightweight, excellent trigger, very nice appointments, well fitted, nice checkering, nice recoil pad, which you're, you're going to need. It doesn't come with a pack of band-aids when you smash your finger, but we won't hold that again. So actually, Actually, Henry does make a survival kit, and it's probably got band-aids in it, but yeah, not bad at all. Um, in a future video, I've actually already got the bases at the house for this. Uh, we are going to put a base on this and put an optic on it, and we'll shoot it out to a little bit longer range. We wanted to just show the light handling characteristics of this particular rifle. They are available in a wide variety of different cartridges, and so far the construction seems to be really robust and the price point is definitely there on these. They're very fairly priced. So great option for somebody wanting a big bore rifle and not want to spend a ton of money. Uh, guys, thanks for watching today's video. We really appreciate all you guys tuning in today. We hope that you found this fun and entertaining. Have yourselves a great day, and we'll see you next time.